Reach for the stars, keep going up. I ain't looking for a prey, I'm growing up. Got love for the ones that were showing up. Real loud, I'm a shout at the top of my lungs. Trying to hate on me, throwing shade like what? You a pussy with a gun, can't one on one. What the f*** going on? It's your boy, Peege. Welcome to the first episode of Discussion Time with Peege. Basically, these videos are going to be a place where I come and talk about all kinds of different topics, whether it's video game related, real life stuff. We're here to discuss these topics. Not every episode is going to be exactly the same. Starting off for our first one, I'm just going to be talking about a bunch of different topics, giving my thoughts on a bunch of different things. The next episode, we may be looking into doing a reaction video with my best friend, Zach. You guys know him as Thrax Pack if you've watched any of my other videos. So it's definitely something to look forward to. And then I also have other things planned for the future as well. Making videos like this gives me a way to get my output on certain things. It lets me discuss these different things with you guys and all that good stuff. So the first thing I'm going to be starting out on this video talking about. So these videos are going to be a lot more, I guess, raw, less editing type videos than my normal stuff. If you guys watch my normal videos, you know, it's jam packed full of subtitles, memes, all kinds of different stuff. This is mostly just going to be what you guys see right now for the meantime. Like I said earlier, I'm going to switch it up, do reaction videos, just all kinds of different stuff planned for the future. I'm not going to give too much of it away just yet real quick before we get too far into it if you guys are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button also turn on bell notifications that way anytime i upload a video you guys will be notified to all my returning subscribers welcome back so glad to have you guys here thanks for stopping by one more thing too if you guys are interested in joining my discord server you can find the link for that down in the description below anyone and everyone's welcome to join so feel free to do that if you are interested so one of the first things i want to talk about is going to be black ops 6 so a lot of you i'm sure have known this game just recently came out it's had such a big stir around it it is one of the first Call of Duty games that recently came out that is available on the Xbox Game Pass. I actually do enjoy the game myself. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about it, especially with the Omni movement and all that different stuff going on. In my opinion, I feel like it gives a new, fresh twist on the Call of Duty of what we've been experiencing year after year. I mean, honestly, they can only do the same thing for so long without us getting bored. I mean, you can keep doing the multiplayer in the, you know, Warzone the same every single time, but if you're not adding any new attributes to these game modes, eventually people are going to get burnt out of it. So, like I said, with the Omni movement, that is something definitely a lot different than what we've had in the past before. Another thing, I love the zombies around base is, you know, true to the og zombies it's what we've always wanted from the rip it really does remind me of cold war a lot of people are saying that this is a reskin cold war and honestly that's fine with me i love playing cold war zombies i mean firebase z i love doing that easter egg i've done that easter egg so many times even by myself i love playing that map i did so many camo grinds on that map it was honestly one of my favorite and it was round based you know back then too we also did have outbreak it gave us a little open world feel vibe to the zombies but now they're trying to reel it back into the round base with liberty falls and terminus we'll get a little more into that later on next thing i want to talk about is recently if you guys aren't aware florida was hit with back-to-back -back hurricanes the first hurricane we were hit by was hurricane helene and then followed a week later by hurricane milton personally from my experience i do live in florida and i do live in the tampa bay area we were basically hit head on from Milton. It was one of the most serious hurricanes in the last hundred years that we ever had. And honestly, it was just a crazy experience overall. I did end up losing power for about six days. It did suck. Don't get me wrong though. It could always be worse. There's people out here that lost their homes. You know, the roofs ripped off their houses. They lost, you know, vehicles that were flooded out. Their homes flooded out, all kinds of stuff like that. So I am very fortunate to be at where I am right now. Leading on to my next thing that kind of stems from that. I just did come back from a one month break from YouTube. Uh, basically with the hurricanes back to back, like that not having power it just unless you experience it yourself it's kind of really hard to explain what it's like it's really just soul sucking and super draining in my opinion especially the days like myself because i do work a full-time job outside of doing youtube i try to you know interact with my youtube and upload multiple times a week but outside of that i do work a full-time job so between going from full-time job working coming back home after work not having power it's just not a very good combo in my opinion and i work outside as well on top of it so that doesn't help things either but everything's getting back to normalish there's still are a lot of outlying islands that are damaged and completely destroyed still some examples is longboat key and maria island siesta key so on and so forth all these surrounding islands around where i live they are still pretty messed up there is a pretty big youtuber named jug squad his real name is jack tenny he is brothers with the one and only tifu he lives up in saint pete which is about an hour hour and a half from where i live and they were messed up pretty bad from both hurricanes back to back as well i know he had a fundraiser or a charity of some sort going i'm gonna look into that more if it's still going i'll definitely link it down below if you guys want to donate to any of those causes it would definitely help out everyone you know that's been affected by these hurricanes and so 
such. So we're definitely, like I said, trying to bounce back from that, get things back to normal best that we can. Next thing that I want to talk about, it's more about the series that I'm doing right now. So basically a little further in depth about myself personally, I've always enjoyed gaming my whole entire life. I was basically born with a controller in my hand and gaming has always been one of my top things that I've always been able to go back and look forward to. That's why when I started doing YouTube videos of me playing all these different games and stuff, it was just such an awesome thing that I was able to do and continue to keep doing to entertain you guys. You guys seem to enjoy it. You keep coming back watching it. And I always appreciate every single one of you that leaves a comment, that leaves a like on the video, even watches the video, not even liking anything, just watching it, period. It means the world to me. I just want to give a huge shout out to every single one of you out there that does take your time out of your day to watch my videos. I do put a lot of work into these videos. It's always greatly appreciated when there's support shown for sure. So I'm going to leave that off. We're going to go on to the next thing. So there are a couple future play walkthroughs that I do want to do still. One of the games that I'm looking to play is Still Wakes the Deep. It was suggested to me by one of my Discord members. It's basically a horror style game from what I understand and it's set out in the ocean. You're working on oil rigs and stuff like that. It looks super creepy. I watched a couple videos of it and it honestly looked like it was a pretty good game. So I do look to play that in the future. I also am looking into playing more of the Chilla Arts games. I've played a couple of them already. I have one of the other videos in the works, Sneak Peek. The next one that I'm going to be playing is The Closing Shift. You guys should see that coming out shortly. But I do enjoy all their games. They're super short. They have multiple endings. Gives us opportunities to go back and play these games again, even though they're only, you know, 40 to about an hour and a half gameplay long. Another game that I want to get into that has to deal with a lot of simulation racing and driving is No Hezzy. For you guys that are not familiar with No Hezzy, it's basically a mod for a game called Seto Corsa. It's basically like a simulation racing game where it tries to highlight on, you know, the real life facts of racing and all the dynamics and everything that goes into that. But No Hezzy, like I said, is a mod. It's been around for a little while. And also too, No Hezzy is short for No Hesitation. So if you guys have ever seen videos of people in real life, maybe say on the interstate, freeway, highway, e-way, whatever you guys call it around where you're at, they're basically driving these cars as fast as they can, weaving in and out of traffic, getting, you know, as close as they possibly can. It's super dangerous. I don't promote any of it, to be honest. I think it's personally very stupid in my opinion, but that's where this game comes in. So basically it's that, but on a game. And the best part about it, in my opinion, is they have a leaderboard to where you can go through, try to get your best score, go for as long as you can without getting hit, running through traffic like crazy. It's super fun, in my opinion. If you guys are into sim racing, any type of games like that, I would definitely go check it out if you haven't already. You don't need a wheel to play. You can play on keyboard or controller as well. So don't let that limit you thinking you only have to have a wheel to play. You don't. And another thing too, before I stop talking about No Hezzy, not to toot my own horn, but I am ranked number 87 on the leaderboard worldwide right now. So like I said, I'm going to be coming out with some content for that soon. So if you guys are looking forward to watching that stuff, it'll be coming here eventually. So kind of off topic from gaming, this is what I was talking about, talking about more real world stuff and things like that. So recently, if you guys are familiar with the hip hop rap scene, you guys have heard Lil Durk has been locked up on federal murder for higher charges. Personally, me and all my friends have been listening to Lil Durk, Chief Keef, all the Chicago drill rappers of that nature. We've been listening to them forever, basically since it started. This one kind of hit a little close to home for us, not going to lie. You know, shout out to Durk, free my man Durk. But as it's going, with all the evidence they got on him and with the wire on his homeboy OTF Jam, it ain't looking too good but we can only hope for the best you know what i'm saying speaking of people in the prison system we recently as of me recording this yesterday young thug was released from prison he's been locked up for the last two years on trial for a rico case they finally reached an agreement where he's gonna do 15 years of probation and he actually has access to work and associate with his artist gunna a lot of you have known from the past recent activities that have happened everyone's been calling him a rat saying all this nonsense talking crazy about him and of course the first thing thug says when he gets out he wants to be linked with Gunna to make music so I think everyone out here definitely owes him an apology for sure on that. Next thing swinging back to Black Ops 6 so it appears that it has been announced that season 1 is going to be starting on November 14th and it looks like to start off season 1 so far they've released that they're coming out with three different multiplayer maps. The first one's going to be Hideout which is a 6v6 map Extraction also 6v6 map. Lastly Heirloom 6v6 and a 2v2 map so it's typical you know how like COD always does especially now that they have a new game that's going to be the multiplayer maps we're going to be getting. It's going to the random guns that we're gonna be getting from all the old Call of Duties. You guys already know the drill. If you've been playing as long as I have, you already know what's gonna happen. Hopefully, at some point, they take into consideration their player base at this point. They say they do, but honestly, the way they put stuff out in the last couple years, it's really, I don't know, it's really going against what they're saying. So, I don't know. We'll just have to look into the future, see what happens, all that good stuff. Hopefully, they're able to, you know, recover, rebound, and make Call of Duty what it once was to where everybody, you know, could actually play it, enjoy it, hop on anytime with your friends, and not lose your shit half the time because somebody's blasting you 
across the map with aimbot through the walls and shit but kind of back to what i said in the beginning about black ops 6 in my opinion the movement compares to the other games in the last couple years it is a million times better the omni movement is something a lot different that we've never had to deal with before definitely takes a lot of getting used to but once you get the hang of it i mean you can fly through maps no problem and once again i'm liking the zombies so far they've added a lot of little side easter eggs and most of the easter eggs are really easy to do a lot of times you guys know in the past call of duty is like oh we're gonna make the easter eggs 50 steps but if you mess up the one step you're gonna have to start all over thankfully we got a bunch of little ones this time starting off hopefully they have a good continuation from where they started off with black ops 6 and continue to elevate it instead of dropping it down below i know they have a lot to work on the multiplayer especially with the spawns and stuff i mean i played a handful of games to where i'm spawning and instantly dying by somebody that's literally adsing where i'm spawning so they definitely need to work on that for sure but other than that that's going to be my thoughts about it for right now we'll see what happens in the future this is going to bring our first episode of discussion time with peach to an end i hope you guys did enjoy this video and like the switch up from what i normally do my plan for the future is to continue uploading twice a week but having these type of videos uploaded every wednesday and then having the gaming one still on saturday like usual it might not happen right away but i'm gonna try to ease my way into it and see if i can make it work it's a lot easier making these videos than it is my other ones and i can actually speak my mind on these and not have to worry about typing every single thing out into a subtitle which is nice however thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this style of video let me know down in the comments what you thought of this let me know what you guys want to see me talk about on the next episode it doesn't matter what it is it can be gaming related it can be real life it can be whatever you want if it catches my attention i want to talk about it i'll throw it in for sure don't forget if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that turn on those bell notifications as well thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one